Hi Libra, this is Power and Light Tarot, and I'm bringing you your general reading for the month of September 2018. Please check your moon and your rising. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And as usual, I'm using two decks for further clarification and or uh, a more perfect message. So let's get started. So your overall energy is the Eight of Wands. You have the Two of Wands crossing you. The Five of Wands is why it's all happening. In the recent past, we have the Empress. Your conscious influence is the Judgment card. The near future, you have the Hierophant. You're seeing yourself as uh, the Death card. Your environment is the Three of Pentacles. Your hopes and fears and or guidance is the Sun card. And your outcome is the Devil. So um, I've clarified the cards um, more than once and we're going to get started here. So your overall energy being the Eight of Wands, I have it here clarified with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So the Eight of Wands talks about, it can talk about fast changes, rapid changes. It can talk about opportunities coming in. It can also talk about communication coming to you, um, putting plans into motion. The Eight of Wands can also suggest reading between the lines and also setting things into motion. These wands are, we've got eight wands here that are up in the sky, they're up in the air. So, and these wands are full of sprouts. So I feel like this, you know, you could, your overall energy here could be um, tied to some opportunities coming your way, uh, rapid changes, and or some news. So, since it's here with the Seven of Swords, I have it also with the Queen of Cups. So, I feel like, you know, somebody could be bringing you some news, you could be hearing some news, um, and it could have to do with somebody who is trying to get away with something, or somebody who's being sneaky. And um, it could be regarding love. We have the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups um, does represent love in a general, in a general way. Um, and these could also be opportunities coming your way and, you know, the Seven of Swords could be just letting you know to be careful, be watchful, that there could be, you know, something maybe sneaky or some type of energy that you need to be looking out for. Okay, so what's crossing you here, we have the Two of Wands here. So, you know... You're making a decision here about what to do, how to move forward. You could be deciding between a, between two partners or two paths. The world is here in your hand, so you are holding the wand, looking out at the ocean, um, and reflecting on, you know, what should I do? Which way do I go now? And it's here with the Four of Wands, I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles and the, the Virgo, the Hermit card. So, you know, whatever you're trying to decide on here with the Two of Wands, you know, I feel like it may be hard for you to make a decision because it's possible you're trying to hold on to something. The Four of Pentacles talks about holding on to something, wanting things to possibly stay the same. And I feel like you're deciding something about your foundation, your home or your relationship, um, because this is a four and it does have to do with foundation. You could also be um, deciding about a financial situation, but you have gone in you have gone within and done some soul searching on it. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. But whatever this news that is coming in, or these opportunities, these fast changes, you're definitely trying to make a decision on it. So why it's all happening is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is the uh, card of fighting, 
conflict, competition, um, possibly too many people in, in a situation. And it's here with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse with the Four of Cups. So I feel like, um, you know, you are fighting, um, or there was some fighting going on, possibly competition, maybe for somebody's attention, and somebody seriously wants to be single. So this is either you or the other person. And they want to be single because there's, there's, a, there's an offer here. Somebody's offering a cup here. And they don't want the cup. So there's disappointment. Um, there's disappointment or there's just disinterest in, a, in an offer with the Four of Cups. It's possible, too, that um, you or the other person in your reading um, is not really seeing the offer entirely. Maybe because they really want to be single here. But this offer, you know, may not be a positive or a good offer, and that's why the fighting is here. Okay? There could be a lack of uh, trust in the situation here because we have the Seven of Swords clarifying the Eight of Wands and the overall energy. So in the past, Libra, um, you were all up in your element. This is either you or a Taurian. Um, you know, the Empress talks about abundance, taking good care of yourself, bringing projects to fruition. This Empress has everything she needs. So I feel like this is your energy and you're all up in your element, taking good care of yourself. There could be, a, you could have been pregnant in the past. It's here with the Six of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Wands. So in the past, it looks like, you know, you had to defend yourself. And it could have been because there, there's a possible attention whore here that maybe you were dealing with. But also, the Six of Wands in the reverse can um, just talk about something not being victorious, something not working out. And you had to defend yourself or you had to stand up for your beliefs. In your conscious influence, you have the Judgment card, and it is clarified with the King of Wands and the Page of Cups here. So I feel like, you know, you are making um, a judgment. Someone's making a judgment here. Someone has come to a realization. This could be an awakening. You could be thinking about giving somebody a second chance, too, with the judgment. Heart. So it's here with the King of Wands and the Page of Cups, and you are either considering giving a, possibly a fire sign, a King of Wands type energy, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, a second chance. You could be ready for love. The Page of Cups here talks about somebody who is ready for love. This can also be um, somebody coming to you with some communication, um, somebody making an offer. The pages do um, make offers sometimes. This is not a, a, a big offer usually from a page. It's, it can be a date. It can be um, a friendship. It can be starting, starting something, starting a relationship. You could be making a judgment about this offer. It's possibly a, a fire sign is offering you this. Or you may be making a judgment about offering a fire sign. Something. Here. So in the near future, we have the Hierophant card. The Hierophant card is um, about... A commitment. It can be about belief systems. It can be about can be about corporate anything that is uh, a conforming type of 
organization or institution. But in this reading, I think the Hierophant card is talking about a commitment. And it's here with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And um, this definitely is talking about love and or relationship commitment. So you have the Hierophant with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So, you know, I feel like you're going to be getting your wish here. And that wish is for somebody to make an offer for a commitment. The Knight of Cups is here with the Nine of Cups here. And the Knight of Cups brings love offers. So I feel like you're going to be getting your wish um, regarding a relationship or a commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurian as well with the Hierophant here. And you know, the Hierophant can also talking about can talk about having the keys to a situation. This could be the key to to your wish. This Knight of Cups coming forward with an offer. You could be dealing with a water sign as well, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, Cancer. So you're seeing yourself as the <clears throat> as the death card. So you're seeing yourself as either going through a major transformation or an ending of some type. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. And it's here with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So you're seeing yourself as heartbroken over a new beginning. And it may have been with an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. I do have Virgo here. And there are a fair amount of Pentacles here in your reading. You could also be seeing yourself as going through a transformation after heartbreak over this new beginning. This new beginning that <clears throat> either started and uh, didn't take off or could just be that you know you want this new beginning and you were heartbroken. Okay. Okay, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and finish up your reading um, in the extended. Please click on the Vimeo link below. I'm pulling at least 10 more cards for your extended and hope to see you over there.